Hello guys, what's going on? This is Arjun and in this video I'm going to show you how you can downgrade your iPad 2 or iPhone 4 us from iOS 9.3.5 or iOS 9.3.6 to iOS 6.1.3. This process is currently working fine till date, not sure about the future. So if you want to downgrade right now, in this video I'm going to downgrade my iPhone 4 us. First we're going to download the files that we require to downgrade iPhone 4 us. So first we need to download 3U tools which is basically a third party file management software for iPhone. You can do plenty of things with this software which you can't do from iTunes. So open Google and type 3U tools and click on the first link which will redirect you to the 3U tools official website. Now you have to scroll down a little bit and you will find a download button. Click on this and your file will start downloading. Now we need a second file which is basically a modified iOS 6.1.3 firmware which you can download from this page. I have also provided a link for this page in the video description. Now on this page you will get the firmware for both iPad 2 and iPhone 4 us. I'm downloading the 4 us one. Sometimes when you click on this link the download doesn't start. So in that case you can simply copy this URL and paste in the new tab to start downloading this file. As you can see now the download is working fine. So now we have all the files that we need to start downgrading process. Before starting first let me tell you how this works. You can't easily downgrade Apple devices once Apple officially unsigned the previous iOS versions. So to begin the process first we need to jailbreak our phone in order to begin jailbreak process your device should be on ios 9.3.5 or ios 9.3.6 as you can see my device is currently running on ios 9.3.6 so i'm good to go now we need our first file to jailbreak this phone you just need to click on this 3u tools executable file to start the installing process now you have to follow all the on-screen instructions to complete this installation Once the installation is complete, you can launch this app. I don't have iTunes installed on my laptop, so that's why I'm getting this prompt message to either install iTunes or just install drivers. I'm not installing the full iTunes, so I'm gonna click on this install driver button. After that, this software will download the required files from the internet and this will take a while. Okay guys, now we are all set to start the jailbreak process. First you need to connect your device to your laptop and then click on trust. Once you got the message on your phone, this process will successfully connect your phone to 3U tools and you will get this screen. Now you just need to click on jailbreak button and after that this software will install necessary files in your phone. Once the previous step is completed, you will get this app on the home screen with the name of Phoenix. Now you can disconnect your phone from your laptop. Before opening this app, we need to trust this app by going into the phone settings and inside the device management, you can trust this app. Make sure you are connected to the internet to trust this app. Now we can open this app and jailbreak this phone. First you have to click on prepare jailbreak, then accept the terms and conditions. Now click on the bottom proceed with jailbreak and begin installation. You need to select provided offsets to successfully jailbreak this phone. After this, your phone will restart and you will get Cydia app on the home screen. Which means your device is now jailbroken. Don't worry if you don't get the Cydia app in the first attempt. You just need to repeat the jailbreak process again by opening the Phoenix app. Once the CD is installed and fully loaded, you need to click on the source tab on the bottom. Now you will get all the sources installed in this app. We need to download one extra source which is required to downgrade this phone. First you need to click on the edit button on the top right corner. Then click on the add button on the top left corner and type source URL which you can see on this page from where we have downloaded the iOS 6.1.3 modified firmware file. After typing the full URL, click on add source button. Now you can see our source is added. Now we need to click on all packages inside this source. Search for KDFU app. After this install this app by clicking on modify button on the top right corner.
After that you will get this app on the home screen. Now open this app and toggle on all the buttons. If by any chance you get error just toggle on and off that button. Finally click on the enter KDFU mode on the bottom. After this your phone screen will go black. Now you need to plug your device into your computer. After plugging in you will get this screen. Now you have to click on go flash. Select pro flash on the left sidebar. Now click on quick flash on the right sidebar. Now everything is done you just need to import that iOS 6.1.3 file into this software which can be easily done by clicking on import firmware button on the right sidebar. Once the firmware is imported, click on the blue flash button to start the downgrade process and ignore the prompt message. Within one minute of starting this process, you will get the old classic Apple logo on the phone screen, which is a good sign that everything is working fine. This whole downgrade process will take a while, so I am speeding up this video. So guys as you can check my phone is successfully downgraded to iOS 6.1.3 and I'm getting this classic setup screen on my phone. So guys that's all for this video. I hope you like this video. If you do then click on the like button and subscribe this channel to show your love. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.